author Lois Duncan wears many hats. Teenage readers know her as the author of scary suspense novels such as I Know What You Did Last Summer and Killing Mr. Griffin. Younger readers know her as the author of humorous stories like Hotel for Dogs and News for Dogs. Teachers and librarians know her as the recipient of the prestigious American Library Association's Margaret A. Edwards Award. Others know her as an author of text for picture books or of lyrics for songs for children, or as a photographer who illustrates her poetry with her own images. But I'm one of only five who can call her mother. My name is Carrie Arquette, and my sister Robin is behind the camera. And we'd like to introduce you to our mother, Lois Duncan. Hello, readers. I am Lois Duncan, and I am the mother of this gorgeous young woman who has volunteered to interview me. And I don't know what she's going to ask. I've been trying to get her to tell me. Uh, I'm going to sit back and let her ask questions. OK, I think I can do that. And we'd like for you to sit back and relax, too, because that's what this is going to be about. It's just a casual uh, chat with friends and family. But because I can be kind of duh, I've written down my questions. Do I get to read Not them? even, no, no hope, no. uh-uh. But um, you know what? Let's just start at the beginning. Where were you born? I was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, my parents, Joseph and Lois Steinmetz, were magazine photographers. And I have one younger brother, Bill. He's three years younger than I am. And when I was about five, we moved to Florida. And that's where I grew up. What was it like growing up there? It was Eden, because back in those days, Florida, well, it was Sarasota, Florida. And the west coast of Florida was not developed. And it was like living in paradise. What were you like as a kid? Uh, well, I'll show you what I was like as a kid. You've never seen me at two years old. Uh. <laughs> no, well, now's your chance. This is your mother at age two. And that woman with her is your grandmother, who must have been probably 25 or 26 at the time. And as you can see, I was absolutely adorable baby. Yes, you were. Yes, I was. 